Okay, so this was problem number three from uh, the practice test one on the PSAT. Uh, this is another system of equations. <clears throat> and uh, you can pause the tutorial to write it down. Uh, but it was 1 half x minus 1 fourth y equals 10. And the other equation is 1 eighth x minus 1 eighth y equals 19. <clears throat> you may recall from our previous discussions that we can tell this is going to be a system of equations because there are two variables. If there are two or more variables, we cannot solve an individual equation. When there's both an x and a y, we can't figure out what either one is without using the second equation below. So uh, with that in mind, um, is this substitution or elimination? To me, this is elimination because I don't see any easy way with any of these x's or y's to get the x all by itself without a fraction or a number in front of it on one side of the equal sign with everything else on the other side of the equal sign. I don't see an easy way to do this. So instead, what I need to do is to eliminate. And uh, somehow, I need to look at my top equation and my bottom equation and see and find something that if I multiply, uh, usually it's multiplying, multiply this equation by something, is there, can I make any of these things equal to what I have on top? Um, and so, yes, I can. This is for, by the way, this is what's difficult about the PSAT. Remember, we said a couple of things. One, get good at system of equations because you're going to see several of these on just about every section of the SAT and PSAT. Uh, but secondly, if you've run into a problem that you totally don't understand, give up quickly, circle it, Continue on with the test and come back to it. Don't use up a lot of time on a problem like this if you are completely confused and probably not going to get it in the end. But you might see that if I multiply this whole equation by 2, multiply the 1 8th x, multiply the negative 1 8th y, multiply the 19 by 2, which I'm allowed to do. I can multiply it by 2. I can multiply it by 4. I can... Uh, as long as I do that to the entire equation, both sides of the equal sign, I'm allowed to do that. Well, if I do that, 2 times 1 eighth is 2 eighths, and I'm just going to immediately reduce that 2 eighths to 1 fourth x. 2 times 1 eighth is 2 eighths, which can be reduced to 1 fourth, so 1 fourth x. Minus 2 times negative 1 eighth, 2 times 1 eighth again is 2 eighths, and I'm going to reduce to 1 fourth y. And 2 times 19 is 38. So I've multiplied this entire equation by 2 and created this equation. This equation and that equation are equivalent. And so I'm going to get rid of my original. So now I have 1 half x minus 1 fourth y equals 10 and 1 fourth x minus 1 fourth y equals, equals 38. And you can see what I've done. I've got negative 1 fourth y here and negative 1 fourth y there. That is the key. We need to get two of these variables to be the same or equal and opposite, which we'd get to in a different problem. In this case, they're the same. Uh, so if I subtract this entire equation from that entire equation. 1 fourth x from 1 half x equals 1 fourth x. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth equals 1 half. So uh, we've got to get good, by the way, at fractions. We've got to get good at subtracting fractions just in general. We know that this is a math skill that a lot of people struggle with. But anyway, you might not see that right away, but 1 half minus 1 fourth is 1 fourth. So 1 half x minus 1 fourth x is 1 fourth x. Negative 1 fourth y minus a negative 1 fourth y cancels. Negative 1 fourth minus a negative 1 fourth. Remember, subtracting a negative is like adding. That equals nothing. So now I've got, and then equals, 
10 minus 38 equals negative 28. And so 1 fourth x equals negative 28. That's a pretty simple equation. Multiply both sides by 4. The one, that cancels the 1 fourth. And 4 times negative 28 is going to give us, um, what is that? 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3, uh, 11, negative 1 12. And uh, if you go back into the equation, you can find out what y was, but that means x equals negative 112, and that should lead you to the solution.